Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute Oh, I never thought through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can't believe what God has done Through us he's given life to one But isn't she lovely made from love? Hey guys, Kinds Restricted coming at you with Daddy and her bear, big bow, bigger than her head. <gasps> Cute, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, today she's uh, well. Yesterday she was eleven weeks. Eleven weeks, mommy. And I am one hundred and twelve weeks post-op lap band surgery. So I'm a hundred, two hundred and five pounds still this week. Why can I never gain or and or lose weight? Um, don't want to gain weight. Hello, what am I talking about? Um, this one here, I think, weighs 12 pounds, according to my uh, ghetto get on the scale with her, get on the scale without her calculations. Um, and she's doing great eating. I am, I think I told y'all a while back, I'm back at work, have been pumping at work, which is awesome. My boss um, doesn't give me any tiff about it, so love that. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions from girls that are pregnant and or thinking about becoming pregnant with the lap band. And I'll tell you, um, I did make a video, like, and now I realize that was the day before I had Dottie. I made a video about how my port was hurting so bad I wanted to kill myself. Um, but now, obviously, it's back and nothing's wrong. Um, it just was getting a lot of pressure, and I think it was actually the tubing because my muscles were, like, stretched out. Um, and, you know, the tubing goes back through your muscles. So... It was just really uncomfortable for, like, probably the last week. Um, I wouldn't have been able to handle it much longer than, uh, than I did, which was, like, one more day. <laughs> um, everything is good. Food has been really good. Now, especially that I'm back to work, I'm able to, like, take my lunch, and then that's all I have. Oh, uh, we didn't really sleep good last night. This one liked to be awake. Yes, you want to, yeah, you're tired too now, huh? Um, so that's been interesting uh no eating has been good at work um let's see what else um i wish that i could get off the internet and i.e internet shopping um i have bought so much stuff in the last i don't know two weeks it's freaking unreal um trying to get ready for like christmas we're really not gonna do big christmas for her this year obviously i mean what are you gonna get her <laughs> she has everything um, just take some cute pictures of her is pretty much what I'm trying to do. But, yeah, everything has been really, really good. Oh. Um, cloth diapering is going great. We finally actually, like, my mom had given me a ton, and I'm talking about, like, 50 plus bags of diapers. Um, and probably more than 50. Um, and we decided yesterday, like, or not yesterday, maybe, bobblehead. Um, we decided the other day that we we're just done with the disposables, and I packed them up, and we are going to give them to um, Louise's cousin's wife is pregnant, so we'll probably give them to her, and or um, he has a cousin who just had a baby yesterday, so um, a little boy, and I just think that, you know, they're not really for us. Um, we have, I, I'm sort of... Um, part-time crunchy, part-time pageant mom. Um, I like the, all the crunchy granola, you know, make your own baby food, exclusively breastfeed, you know, cloth diaper things. Um, but then I also like the glitz and the glitter. So, uh, I, uh, cloth diapering was supposed to be something that was going to save us money. It has cost me a fortune now. Um, you can cloth diaper on a budget, and I know a lot of people do it for that benefit. Um, I need every diaper that has a ruffled butt 
pretty much on the face of the earth, and they're not cheap. So um, I've sort of justified the fact that I've probably spent um, any you know up in the five hundred dollar range on diapers, um, in the fact that I didn't have to buy um, a nursery set. So I think I've kind of spent more than I probably would have on um, that stuff now. But you know, it is what it is, and. I just cannot deny my daughter a fluffy butt. I can't. So, she has, she just has a regular diaper on now, though. So, y'all be happy to know she's wearing just a very generic pink diaper. Um, I, I usually save the cute ones, of course, like when we go out. I mean, doesn't that what every parent does, really? I mean, you, like, dress your kid in the dumbest onesies you have when they're at home, and then when you go out, you dress them up. Um... So, it's been really good. I have not been exercising. Shame, shame, shame on me. I know. Um, but when I come home from work, I'm basically non-stop until about midnight. Um, if it's not washing clothes, I have to do dishes every single night. Um, that's dishes, like real dishes, and then I have to wash all my breast pump stuff. So, I have to take it down, put it in the dishwasher, and then load it back up and be ready to be up at 5 o'clock the next day. All while breastfeeding her during the same time. Um, so I like made a list the other day of all of the things that I do at night. And I was like, how do I even get that done in four hours? I really don't know how that's possible, but somehow I'm doing it. Um, I am considering buying a lot more like pump accessories because um, if I didn't have to wash them every single day, it would probably save me a lot of time and I could, might be able to get something else done. Um... And me and Louise seem to go, you know, we both wear, like, a uniform to work, but somehow we seem to go through so many clothes, it's unreal. Um, and Louise goes to the gym every night still, um, which I'm totally cool with. I'm, I'm glad that he still does that. Um, but obviously I can't go because I can't take her, you know, and walk on the treadmill with a baby strap to me. That's weird. Um, if I could, I would. Uh, but, and I'm really exhausted on top of all that, so... Um, and starving to death. Uh, breastfeeding, uh, I have not seen the benefits of weight loss and breastfeeding quite yet. So we'll see if that comes in the next couple of months. Everyone has really told me, you know, the three, four, five month mark, you really start to see the weight fall off. Um, I talked to a mother that breastfed until I think her son was like 17 months. And she said about the four or five month mark, she said, I just started melting away and I was eating like a box of cookies every day. So that gives me great hope that someday we will start losing weight. <laughs> um, and not because of exercising. My food is, you know, like I said, my food is like relatively good. Um, I don't see that, say that every meal I'm eating like solid protein and all of that jazz, but I'm, you know, I have to eat to sustain her and I have to eat carbs. Um, not that I go crazy on the carbs anymore. Uh, when I first came home from the hospital and while I was pregnant, yeah, I was crazy carb lady. But that's all good. All right, well, we had to go to the bank this morning because we have some hospital bills to pay, which is so fun. Um, yeah, gotta love insurance. So, I will talk to you guys next week, and I hope everyone has a good... It's fall. We have fall in Texas. Can you believe that? Like, usually we just have summer and winter, and that's it. Um, but we've been having fall, which is very pleasant. So, we're going to go out and enjoy our day. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I right, love you. Bye.